Gotta admit, I'm pretty excited about my new red background. It's pretty awesome. Of course, it takes up the middle of my, like, den area. Like, look at just a big red background here. There's my new light, too. And, uh, today we wasted away on YouTube because Portal 2 came out, and when Portal 1 came out, I never played it. I just watched videos on it, and I was like, man, I should really play that game. And now Portal 2 is out, and what am I doing? I'm watching videos on it. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I should really play that game. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't afford right now to go out and buy Portal 2, so we're going to do the next best, next, next best thing. You guys ever heard of non-Newtonian fluids? Science. You know you love it. So a non-Newtonian fluid is something that is liquid. A, a non-Newtonian fluid changes... Hmm... I should probably look this up so that I don't give you guys some sort of, some sort of crazy thing. I'm going to tell you guys what I interpret it as being. Uh, a non-Newtonian fluid is something that changes characteristics when force is applied. Well, I was close, so it has to do with viscosity. Viscosity, best described, is uh, when you pull the trigger on a water gun, right, the water comes out. And if you want it to come out faster, you pull the trigger harder. That uh, is because fluids resist flow. I've been reading about this for a good five or ten minutes now, and I can't quite figure out an easy way to explain what viscosity is. Visc <sighs> leave me something down below. If you guys know what viscosity is and have an easy way of explaining it, leave it down below. I'm going to show you guys what a non-Newtonian fluid does with cornstarch. Let's go to the store and get some cornstarch. Okay, on the drive over here, I had a little bit of time to think about it. Uh, Newtonian fluids only react to temperature. That is the only thing that affects their viscosity, whether they flow more freely, low viscosity, like oil, water, stuff like that, or not so freely, like high viscosity, such as honey at room temperature. But if you heat up honey, then it flows more freely. It lowers the viscosity. Non-Newtonian fluids, different. If you apply another force to non-Newtonian fluids, that affects their viscosity. I'll show you that in just a minute, once we actually find the cornstarch. Don't ask me where Hodgson, Hodgson Mill is, but they're supplying our cornstarch. And so think of it like this. Say you've got a, uh, a crowd of people, right? And the crowd of people are water, and somebody from behind starts pushing. The harder they push, the faster the people move, right? With a non-Newtonian fluid, the all the people aren't going to move. They don't want to move. So you push them, but they don't want to move. If you go through them slowly, you can find your way through the group of people. But if you try to run through there, you're just going to run into all of them. I keep it easy for you guys, don't I? Just cornstarch and water. That's it. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to be able to see past the red background. Cornstarch and water, right? Easy. Cornstarch goes in the bowl. Okay, I'm making a ton of this, which uh, you guys don't have to. You guys can just make a little bit, but I'm making a ton. Water goes into the cornstarch. And you stir it up. La 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 la. It's actually really easy to stir slower. Now this is definitely something that I do encourage you to try at home because it's super fun. Check it out. This is our non-Newtonian fluid, right? It's kind of weird looking when you move it around, but for the most part, it's it's point of liquidy. You know, we can pour it out onto our plate here. Right? It's, it's like pancake batter. Right? You guys ready for the interesting part, though? So right, it's 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 liquidy, sticking my hands in it, and then we do something like this. Why isn't it splashing? Yeah, we have a solid right now, fairly a solid, right? I'm kind of trying to ball it up here. And then when we drop it, it's like a liquid. Okay, I just tried this with one hand and it didn't work so good for me, but I'm gonna try it again. Here we go. It's kind of ball-like, right? Oh, uh, no, it's not ball-like at all. Totally liquid, what the heck? And then of course, 
hit it nice and hard, right? And then we take it and we pour it back into our cup. You notice that it's the faster that I try to pour it, the more solid it tries to become. But if I pour it slowly, it's pretty liquidy. So there you have it. There's your non-Newtonian fluid. There you go. You ready? One last time. Bloop, bloop. Wow. Just so you guys know, I'm always keeping you in mind, that experiment cost me $1.50 to do. So anybody can do it. No excuses. And of course, that just cleans up with soap and water. Not even really soap, just water. But just make sure you don't dump the entire thing down the drain. Kind of kind of let it wash away a little bit. Like what I did is I put the bowl in the sink and just started running hot water through it. It doesn't have to be hot, it can be cold. Started running water through it and just kind of like stirring it up and getting some, like eroding away at it. So I'm not just dumping a big old blob of non-Newtonian fluid down the drain to clog up anything. Of course it would eventually erode away, but it would take a little bit of time. So that's why I suggest doing it slowly and then run the water for a little bit. Or you can just throw it in the trash. Whatever you prefer. Because, I mean, you're going to just throw it in the trash. That's easier. Throw it in the trash. Don't listen to me. So what do you guys think of these scientific experiments that we've been doing? You guys like them? Because I can imagine that we could be doing these more and more often because they're fairly easy to find online. And I know how to do a lot of different things. Like, maybe we could do... There's like a, a homemade hovercraft that I can do. It's like a super simple hovercraft. Nothing crazy. I can do a more complex air cannon, which... Uh, is super fun because I can sit across the room and shoot this thing at people and they have no idea what's going on. Uh, I can do a bigger one like with a five gallon bucket or a trash can even. It also makes smoke rings too. Uh, we can do all, I'm just rambling now, spouting off things. We can do tons of stuff. Even if you guys have a suggestion as to something that we can do, leave it in the comments down below and hit that, hit that like button. Where is it at? It's over here. And of course the subscribe button which is in the center now. I thought it was over here before and it used to be yellow. It's not yellow anymore. Now I've got that click for good times thing. But this is, this is just it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.